Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to talk about how we can create emitters or particles on top of any text. So what we are going to do is we are going to take a simple end particle and we will try to emit the same particles on top of some text. So let's start with taking a simple text here. I'm gonna take, let's call this Maya. Let's make all capital. And let's use small text. Okay, and um, let's reduce the geometry to one and offset to maybe like somewhere about 0.5 maybe. And uh, let's use some different font, maybe Coppins. I think the bold is too much. Let's go with semi bold. All right, so this is our text, and uh, let's try to create something. So let's go to or effects and I'm going to select my text go to in particles and here you'll see emit from object I'm going to click on this so if I play this now you'll see that the particles are emitting but they are emitting from all the points so let's change that to surface and if you play this back you'll see that the particles are being emitted from the surface of the polygon now what we can change here what can we do to create some interesting stuff here so basically uh, the first thing i'm going to do is increase the amount of particles just so we can see more particles here and the next thing that we have to do is go in here and go to particle size and if you want to see the particle size what we have to do is go into shading and change this to spheres and i think uh, point 0.2 is good enough and uh, let's change this and my id and uh, maybe let's try to we are basically trying to create some variations in sizes of these particles and there you go all right so this looks pretty good so now we have random size particles and some particles going on but the particles are not colliding with each other so let's fix that let's go to the collision and here you'll see self collide we have already seen all of those basic parameters in the introduction of in particles so i think we all know this and now we have nice particles colliding with each other now the next thing that we have to do is select these particles and i'm going to turn off the gravity now from this point whatever you do is totally up to you now, nothing uh, here is fixed what you can do is just experiment with this but i'm just going to share my idea with you so now we have something like this. The first thing I want to do is increase some sub steps and this is just basically the overall quality or accuracy of your solo. So we have something like this. Let's try to slow this particle down using the track field. Now let me like five. Fifteen. All right. This is good. I think the particles are emitting too much. Uh, let's make this 500. I think that should be good enough. Yeah. And one more thing I want to do is go into the particle shape. And here you will see the bounciness and friction and stickiness. So I'm going to increase some friction just so they stick to each other very well. And 0.4 for the stickiness as well. The last thing I'm going to do is just to add some randomness into our particles. I'm going to add some turbulence here. I'm going to keep the magnitude to 5, which is pretty low, just to add just a little bit amount of randomness to our particles. Oh, there you go. So you can stop wherever you want. You can play around with this. And if you want to shade these particles, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try something new. I'm going to use the same technique for the uh, randomness color. But for the new purpose, what I'm going to do is add some emission into it um so let's call this particles so let's go to our hyper sheet and from here right click graph network and uh, we have already seen what we can do with color jitter regarding particles so i'm gonna just quickly run through it use the data face and here you can simply change whatever you want for example let's keep it something like this and uh, the next thing i'm gonna do is actually let's quickly see how this is looking in ipr so i'm going to quickly take a sky dome light and upload an hdr all right so i've loaded in my hdr and uh, let's see how this is looking all right so i'm also using my own hdr from my own hdr pack just so everyone knows 
And I'm gonna quickly take a simple camera. I'm gonna switch this to camera again. Let's go to our camera just so we have a secondary camera as well. Let's bring this down. So this is what our overall particles and text looks like. I'm not going to shade my text. And this is, I think, all of you can do this on your own. I'm just gonna dive into my particles to see what we can do. So now you have basically some plastic balls, some random color plastic balls. Now create something interesting. What you can do is you can simply plug the same color into the emission color and make the emission to one. So now if you run this again, now you have glowing particles going on which looks like you can also use this to add your scene as a light bulb as well. So I'm gonna select my spidum light and maybe reduce the intensity. Now here you'll still see your overall particles here because we have emission material going on and you can see nice shininess going on and the overall emission with the light as well. So let's bring this out. From here you can have fun, you have nice colors going on. So just try to have fun with this, play around with this. The rest is totally up to you how you want to analyze updating the overall scene. Yeah, so there you go. So have fun with this. Try to add some more dynamics into the scene. Try to add a bit more feels into this overall scene. Try to play around with different techniques. And if you come up with anything interesting, please feel free to share me. And that's it for this one. And I'll see you in the next video.